What's up, what's up, Pineapple Express Lifestyle coming out with my first interview. I told you we were gonna be doing some interviews with some truckers, and look what I found here. I got us a nice young lady in the trucking industry, so I wanted to kind of ask, what is it like being a female in the trucking world? How do they treat you? Um, well, they treat me good. They treat you good? They treat me good. Do you get respect from all the other men in the industry? I've had no problems. No problems? No problems. They, they look out for you? Or are they rude in any way? Some of them do. You know, it, 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 it is no matter where you go, it's the sexist thing. Uh, I, I wanted to actually talk about all the foreigners in this. How long have you been driving, first of all? About five years. Five years, okay. So you've got a couple years under your belt. Mm -hmm. um, have you seen a change in the industry in the last five years? Yeah, what, sure. what have you recognized the most? Well, when I first started, right? When I first started, it was about respect. It was about um, helping each other. Um, a lot of drivers were like, you know, look out for one another. Now, yes. they cut you off. They drive too close. Yes. They have no type of um, trucker courtesy, as I sh as you should say. That's no it. type of courtesy at all. Um, even if you stuck on the side of the road, they won't get over. They'll stay right where the lane is. Um, they won't even message you and say, hey, are you okay? Anything's going on? So it's I've seen that um, in the trucking industry and then no one speaks. Like, that I mean, we're, I mean, if I say good morning to you, then why are you not saying good morning? Yes. Like, so yes. maybe it's a culture thing. Maybe it's a scared thing. Maybe it could be a lot of things. So you bring up something that I want to touch back. First of all, what is your name? Belinda. Belinda. Mm -hmm. Belinda drives for Prime. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that, but I don't care. Don't play with her like that. <laughs> don't sleep on us like that. <laughs> so uh, you, you brought up, you know, what are your thoughts? Do you, do you feel that it's because of the influx of foreigners that have gotten into our industry that have changed the industry? So I don't want to be in political yes. right in political correct excuse me i can't talk yeah, right no. now. politically correct. correct because i'm trying not to be incorrect you know right. i think that it's how a person's trained so let's just say it like that yeah. it's how a person's trained and so if they don't know the culture they don't know the industry because a lot of people don't know the industry. Yes. And they don't understand what trucking means to us in America and what other truckers before us have sacrificed Amen. to get it where it is now. Amen. And it wasn't about a black thing or a white thing or a foreign thing. It was about hardworking people. A trucking thing. A trucking thing. Hardworking people trying to make good living for their people. At the end of the day, the trucking is the all-American dream for the low man. Yeah. So when you get other people in here that are basically taking the food, the money, the, the, the money out the people's mouths, yes. and then I don't want to say it like this, like not I don't want to cuss, but stepping on them. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And being like rubbed in your face, and then. Then the people who have been doing this all their life sacrificing yes, for yes. it then they're overlooked absolutely for the people that are new in the game yes that don't care about the game that's it let's she nailed it come come a little closer <laughs> so we can both be on here so what she's trying to say is if if i'm hearing you correctly is the influx of foreigners that have come into the the trucking industry have changed the game because they will take a load for a lot less. Well, I'm, they'll drive let's the, just say the this. price down. Okay, let's just say this. I'm not gonna say foreigners because okay. I don't want to use that because you gotta remember people are watching. Yeah. And I don't want you shadow banned or anything like that. Okay. Because it is that is the nature of the beast, right? right. So I'm gonna say people who are very uneducated about this game. Yes, that's a great way of putting it. People who got in the game for the wrong reasons they got a little bit of the ppp loan I mean, yeah, so let me right. get out of it she's me, hitting it on let the me, head let me, let me, I, they got I, I applied for it i didn't get it i applied for it i didn't get it and i, and I own my own business even oh, really? though yes even so though so this is your truck 
No, I leased the truck. Okay. However, I have an LLC under this truck. Gotcha. So I am still a, um, I don't want to say high price uh, owner operator. Okay. But I mean, um, a high company owner operator, but I'm still liable for my own taxes, yes. my own care for the truck, yes. my own maintenance, maintenance tires. Of you, I have insurance. all the necessities to under yes. somebody else's DOT. Okay. Okay. That's just how I want to run it. Me too. That's just how I want to <laughs> run it. But I have, but I am a contractor. Right. So Me too. I, it is what it is. But a lot of people got the PPP loan. Um, and they said, let me get in the trucking game. Yes. Let me flip this money and let me take the money away. Yes. from the people who have actually worked out here. Just like during Christmas time. You know, you've been in the game for a little bit. Christmas time, Thanksgiving time, that's the time that we really grind. Yes. And that's the time the real truckers come out and or are, are staying out yes. so that they can make a living for their family so they can have good Christmas. Because guess what? We're already missing Christmas. That's We're right. already missing Thanksgiving. That's We're right. already missing New Year's or right. uh, graduations or whatever, right? That's right? So here comes these people who haven't worked don't know nothing about the lanes, don't know nothing about trucking. They come in for two weeks, they take all the Christmas money away. They take yes. all the Thanksgiving money away. Yes. yes. And now you stuck with barely making fuel. That's right. Because That's right. they decided You're... that they thought this was a game. Right. And then they find out that, wow, this is actually really hard to do. Yeah. And then let's not, let's not, let's not overshadow it. Me and you don't have nowhere to go. Right. We're stuck here in America. That's it. Right? That's right. So, but I could take my American money, take it to my country, there it is. and flip it. And they're living like kings and queens. And That's here it. it is. We're struggling. That's it. So, it's not about, it's just about courteous for the next man. And if you don't care about us, then what? That's this it. is our last chance. This some of it. some people are homeless. Some people live out their truck. Some people get sick and die in their truck. Yeah. And I, here it I, is, is that you think this is a game because you want to flip a few dollars. You know, I saw that recently. I saw a, a brother trucker that pulled in, was getting fuel. He had a heart attack and died right there, walking to the, walk the inside to pay for his fuel. The stress. Let me ask you this last question. We'll cut it short. For any women out there, listen. Hi. Hi. For any women out there. Has trucking been good to you? Would you say that this would be a good industry for some women to get into to perhaps change their lives? I would say yes. However, if you have children, you need to really think about because at the end of the day, this is a male, male dominated industry. Yes. And men are supposed to work hard, sacrifice for their family. That's what the men are supposed to do. Yes. So you get into the industry and you're a woman, not saying that we don't sacrifice and that we don't do this, but you gotta understand that I have children. I have three sons in the military. Wow. I have three sons in the military and I have other little children. And I'm sacrificed. I miss birthdays, I miss graduations, I miss um I'm making cry. I that's miss okay. a lot of that's stuff. Okay. But at true. the end of the day, they eating. They have clothes on their back. So somebody gotta sacrifice. And if it gotta be mommy and daddy, it gotta be mommy and daddy. I thank you for your raw. Thank you. <laughs> that's that's something that I that I've been preaching for this new channel. It's gonna be raw. It's gonna be uncut. I don't get all dolled up. This is how it is, and this is raw. This is real feeling. This is truth from the road. Give me your name again. Belinda. Belinda. Belinda with Prime, and she got a little co-driver. I, I was looking for her co-driver. Let's see if we get a let's picture. See, let's see if Demi will come out. Come on. Let's see this. Come on, Demi. There's Demi. Come on. Belinda and Demi. <laughs> Can I pet her? Yeah. Hi, baby. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, you're you're a team team of women, right? There's two of you, or no? Did no. I see? Okay, so maybe a, a team of switched out. No. You guys... Um. Come on. Um. Sit, girl. Sit. Good girl. Um. Ah, oh, look at her. <laughs> hi, mama. Say hi. Um. <laughs> Oh Lord, right, uh, you done started something. She, um, I was talking to somebody educating a, a young lady about okay. the trucking game. Oh really? So when you how funny said, is that? <laughs> Look at how the world works. She's educating somebody about trucking, and here comes some fat belly bearded guy <laughs> saying, "Let's talk about trucking." Amen to that, <laughs> Belinda. I want to thank you so much. I thank really you. do. I hope my followers actually hit the like button, share this, 
with other people that might be interested in getting the trucking business because there was a lot of truth to this video. We love you guys. Pineapple Express lifestyle coming live. Peace. <laughs>